use the card. Oh, oh now I'm getting flashbacks of Reed Chain of Memories. I'm thinking about going back and playing through all the Kingdom Hearts games again, but I can't decide if I want to play through Chain of Memories or not. What happened to me? Oh, that card's special. It will cause you to see people. Well, illusions to be exact. They're from Jiminy's journal. It's all of the very same data that you worked so hard to fix. Jiminy? What did I fix? I don't get it. <laughs> My mistake. Someone must have pressed the reset button on your memory. All you remember is leaving the island. Just the same, you'll remember the folks you meet here. At least you should. I don't understand. What is it that I'm supposed to do? Whatever you want. Huh? There's no script to follow. The journal's the closest thing you've got. But that doesn't mean you'll see the things it says. And who really cares? Everything that happens here, and everyone you meet, is just an illusion. I like this guy. So then, I can do whatever I want to do? Yes. Hey, come back! So now, is this Roxas or is this Ventus? He's gone. Huh? That's the question. Hey, guys. Interesting, just staring at him. Just chit in the chatter. And then they disappear. Very strange indeed. Well, you did it again, Sora. Wait a sec. Riku, why are you here? I've got something that you need to see. It'll help you. Yeah? What is it? Another card? A hidden truth that's nowhere to be found. Even in the deepest corners of your memories. It's something I want you to see. And... Something I want you to feel. I, want, I, want I know you wouldn't ask if it wasn't really important. I'll do it. Thank you, Sora. Now... Close your eyes. Kind of weird. Okay, so what is he going to show us? A movie about Riku? Him grabbing the power. See where I think he is? Yep, that's his cutscene. Wasn't that Riku and Kairi? That's right. I was on a journey to find you guys. Darkness had taken a hold of my heart, and Kairi had lost hers completely. But at the end of your journey, you would have saved us, Sora. Would have. Think about it. What did Kairi and I have in common? When you watched, what did you feel? Something you have in common. It was hurt. We had both lost ourselves. And we were hurting in a way we'd never hurt before. There's no greater pain in the world. I ask you, Sora. What would you have done? I would have helped you, of course. Both of you. I'd have figured out how to undo the hurt. I thought you'd say that. And you're right. You would. Or should I say, you will. That's a relief. Hey, then what was with the sneak preview? Yeah. I just wanted you to see. You always make the right choices. On the road ahead, more than one truth will come to light. You'll forget things, lose things that you care about, and it won't always make sense. It'll be frustrating, and it'll make you angry. It may even hurt so badly you'll feel like you're about to lose yourself. But don't worry, Sora. That won't happen to you. You won't let it. You're like a sponge. No matter how much pain they throw at you, you'll suck it up 
and leave things a little bit better. <laughs> Just follow your heart, and you can change the lives of not one, but many. You don't have to do anything special. Just do what you do. Be yourself. After all, that's what you're good at. Do what feels right to you. You got it. It's like take care. Sorry. It's like a tremendously what? large amount of setup for like him actually going through the Wait. entire rechain of memories game. No one's here. Well, Sora? How was it? Did you have fun chatting and hanging with the ghosts? You shouldn't call them ghosts. Sure, something was a little off, but I'm certain those three are still my friends. Friends? You don't say. So then what were their names again? Tell me. Oh, I don't even have to think. Uh, what? Why can't I... remember? I know them. Like I said, everything in this castle is just an illusion. And once the illusions vanish, you'll forget all about your little reunion. I'll forget? Hey, no big deal. The fact that you can't remember them just means they weren't very important to you to begin with. Isn't that right? It is going That's through. That's not true! Of course my friends are always important to me. Okay, maybe I forgot what just happened and who I met inside that room. Trust me, I know I'll remember everything again. Hmm, sure. This is so weird. More cards? So All many of them. These cards were created from the data in the journal. And all of them will show you more illusions. But from now on, the illusions won't be of your friends. You're fresh off the island, which makes everyone you meet total strangers. Here's a fun little thought. The folks you're about to see, you can fight them all you like. Huh? What do you care? They're only strangers. Actually, illusions of strangers. Just a collection of empty bits of data. They won't be able to make the distinction between what's real and what's not. They'll look at the white walls of this castle, and what they'll see are the worlds they call home. Anyway, the truth would be wasted on them, so why bother? They're only there until they're not. Do you see where I'm going with this? Nothing's real. You can break the little hearts they don't have and then forget about it. No hurt feelings, no baggage. It's that simple. It's getting pretty dark. You don't have a heart. It's 100% guilt-free. That's what you think. What? <laughs> it's obvious you know nothing at all. Everything you say is a lie. I might have the strength to hurt someone. But what exactly would be the point? I know that it would tear me up inside. That ache would stay with me for a long time. You might not know it now. But I hope you'll see that nothing is guilt-free in this world. You've arrived at the first question. Huh? Oh my god, What's this is trippy. That guy? So, with these cards, I'm gonna run into people from the past. I have no idea who, but it'll be fun. <laughs> he just looks at the camera. It's gonna be fun. There's Sid. And Huey Dewey Louie. Hey, what's up, man? Bada, bada, bada. Wanna buy some ice cream? How about a shield? I got a necklace. Uh... That guy wasn't kidding around. I really can't remember who it was I met just now. Or can I? Hmm. 
There we go. I give up. I don't remember. Just gotta keep moving. That's weird. I don't know what this is. Wait, is this what heartache feels like? Just thinking about them causes pain inside. Hold on. If I really forgot about all those friends completely, that would mean I shouldn't be missing anyone. That makes sense. So I haven't forgotten all of it then. There's got to be more I still don't know. I just need to find something to trigger my memory. Nice. Here goes. <laughs> oh my god. This game is really weird, I should say. Back to meeting Alice and the Cheshire Cat again. <laughs> the queen actually looks kind of happy. It's very strange. Going through all the worlds. Talking to people. Meeting up. Hello, Sora. How was your time with... Who was it again? I can't remember anything at all. But you already knew that, didn't you? You seem pretty calm. Guess you decided they weren't worth stressing over. Out of sight, out of mind, right? That's wrong. What? It's like you said. Everyone I met, I can't remember. But still... I'm frustrated that I've forgotten them. I feel moments of loneliness. You said there would be no hurt feelings, but I am hurting. When the memories are gone, they just leave a hole. And having that longing inside me hurts. But it'll help me somewhere down the road. It's the key I'll need to unlock all my memories. Right on schedule. <laughs> This game is nuts! So we went through kind of like almost all Kingdom Hearts 1. Now we're going through Rechain of Memories. I like how he's actually just talking with Cloud and Hades. Hey Phil. Didn't get to see you in the last thing. What other worlds do we have? Uh, that one... Uh... We still haven't met, uh... The sadness of knowing you forgot someone who matters to you. Something like that will gnaw at you forever. But you believe that somehow by carrying around that kind of hurt, you'll be able to retrieve the memories you lost. That's what you're thinking. Right, Sora? Right. <laughs> What's so funny? I can't believe you fell for it so easily. Huh? I told you when you arrived. Remember, in this place, to find is to lose, and to lose is to find. Well, you've lost your memories, and the only thing you found in return is hurt. And by deciding that hurt was the key to remembering, you gave up all hope of ever being free from it. The hurt owns you now, Sora. Don't you see that? It's a wound that will never mend. That hole in your heart will grow bigger until darkness finally claims it. The darkness? Was this all just a big trick to pull me in? Afraid so. And all it took was a handful of illusions. Your heart was just way too easy to break, Sora. Not true! I have no idea what's going on. I played Rechain of Memories. You guys watched me play Rechain of Memories. I have no fucking clue what's going on. I can understand the overall thing of what's going on, what's happening, but I have no idea what the goal is, why it's Roxas slash Ventus talking to us. Or what the truth is going to be, because this is still just data, Sora. Like, maybe Mickey will learn, and then tell the real Sora it's not too late to run huh why should you keep the herd inside 
Just tell yourself you need to forget about the people you met in this place. You'll have no one to miss. No cause for loneliness. No hurt to keep eating away at your heart. Sora, it's your call. Cling to the memories you've lost. And the hurt they bring. Till you're dragged into the darkness. Otherwise, let it all go and then you can be free and happy. The decision is completely yours. Wait! <laughs> that's right, that's what he said this whole time. It's everything's whatever we want to do. Let's keep moving, Sora. You're a sponge, remember? Oh, he doesn't remember. Damn it. You're a sponge, damn it. The last card? Should I use this? Yes. But if I were to do that. Then I'd meet a friend, and forget right away. I don't know if I want that. It's just going to bring more hurt. And if he's right, the darkness will eventually take over me completely. We gotta do what we gotta do, Sora. But I don't see any other way out of here. Guess this card is my only option. That is, unless I let go of the hurt. Once I go out of this room, I'll forget all about what happened and everyone I just met. Instead of carrying that hurt around until it consumes me, maybe I should let it go. What's inside my heart? What am I supposed to do? Make up the decision. I feel so lost. Hey, Sora! Can you hear me? Sora! I know that voice. Mickey, is that you? Where are you? Sorry, Sora. I'm still trying to find a way to get to you. Right now, the best I can do is to send my voice to where you are. It's okay. Hey, Mickey. Maybe you can help me with something. I keep forgetting people I meet in this place. And this guy says if I dwell on what I've lost, the herd is going to take over me. And I don't want that. I understand. Question is, are you okay with letting go of the folks that you've forgotten? Huh? Who are they? Well, even though you may not remember them, they definitely remember you. You'll always be a really close friend to them, no matter what happens. Yeah. <laughs> And even if you don't ever really know who we are, I hope you'll remember that. You'll always be special to us. How can that be? Why don't you ask your heart? What are you feeling right now, Sora? What are you feeling? I don't know what this is. Who are these two? I don't think that we've ever met. But I feel like... I know them. Memories can disappear, but feelings don't. Not even when your data was reset. Inside your heart, the adventures you shared with the friends you made in the datascape will always live on. And you know what? I'll bet that's also true for all the time you spent with the folks that those cards showed to you. So it's not what's missing that's causing the hurt. It's actually what's not missing. If that's true... Hey! Uh-oh! Looks like I've used up too much power. I'll be there soon, Sora. I promise. Just try and hold on a little bit longer for me. Okay? Mickey! I wonder why you can remember Mickey. Maybe because Mickey's not in here, or maybe he's real and not part of the data? I'm all alone again. I hate feeling like this. Oh. I wonder, does this count as hurt? If I let it, will this pull me into the darkness? Hmm. A lot of monologuing. I can do this. There's no going back. Just one more card. Let's go then. To Radiant Garden. 
Is this where we'll meet uh all the rest of the gang? Oh god, I was not expecting Maleficent and Pete to be here. Makes sense though. Well, not Pete, but eh. Oh well. I'm surprised we didn't meet like uh, Eris and Yuffie and uh. I can't remember the gun sword guy. Why can't I remember his name? Hmm. You've used up all the cards, I take it. I would ask if you enjoyed your little trip. But we both know that you've forgotten it. That you're feeling pretty empty. He seems happy that he's no, empty. No, I'm not. I may not remember who I met, but I do remember that I met them. And knowing that I've forgotten them, I miss them. So you hurt. I warned you. Don't you remember what I said? That hurt will drag you down into the darkness. You have to get rid of all of it. Why? No, I don't. I can keep the hurt because it reminds me of something important. It lets me know that what I've forgotten is crucial. That's enough. I won't run from it. It'll stay inside of my heart until the day I remember. The darkness will take you first. If I put the hurt aside, I'll lose my ties to all the people I care about. My mind's made up. I may end up falling into the darkness, but I'll carry this with me. I'll only get rid of it when I remember everything, and not a day sooner than that. I'll keep the hurt with me for the time being. It's all that I have. It's what holds the pieces in place. I accept that. You say you accept it? It's not a game! So what is Roxas Ventus's goal in all of this? That's what I want to know. It's way past time that you learn what real hurt feels like! <laughs> God, I love the piano. Come on, Sora. Do it. Finish me off. <laughs> Why won't you do it? I get it. You've seen through my disguise. I'm just like everyone else you've encountered in this place, made of data. I'm not even worth the effort, is that what it is? Guess there's no point in destroying something, if it never existed. Is that right? Not at all. You say that you're an illusion, but you certainly pack a really big punch. <laughs> you said that you'd show me hurt, and you weren't wrong. Actually, the hurt that I just felt was more than that. Sure, it might have hurt while we were fighting, but I sensed a different kind of hurt from you. It was kind of like an intense, sharp pain. But it felt sort of familiar, almost like it was my own. As if we'd been connected. Like, right then we shared the same hurt. If somehow, it brings me closer to people in that kind of way, <laughs> then carrying around a little hurt can't be all that bad. <sighs> he just gave up. So it can't be all that bad. I give up. <laughs> called it. Here. You pass, Sora. Congratulations, you understand hurt. Now, use this to find the oh truth. Oh my god, we're finally gonna find the truth. What do you mean? 
My role was to see if you were ready to take ownership of the hurt inside you. And now that role is done. Nothing left for me to do but go away. Are you gonna go back home? I don't know if I really have one. But... There's a place I'd like to be. A place? Uh... Where? Oh! What's this feeling? I've got memories that don't belong to me. A place to call home. And a sunset that's comforting. My first and my last... Summer vacation. You can rest easy. I've got you now. <laughs> oh my god. Are we going to take him home, back to his body? So that was Roxas the whole time? If he's still talking about summer vacation, it has to be Roxas. Open. Sora! Mickey! Oh, Mickey shows up at the end, huh? Well, he would be able to give us I'm answers so to where we I are. I caught up to you. Sorry that it took me so long. I know you ended up having to do all the work on your own. I just couldn't get here sooner. It's okay. You're here now. Look. If I use this card, it'll lead us to the truth. Is that right? The message said their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. Maybe now we can finally solve it. Teach me the truth. Let's find out. And the game ends. <laughs> okay, so let's find out what we are going to find out. It's a bad sentence. Oh, come on, come on. Teach me, teach me. So we're walking. Hey, it's Nominee. Who are you? Oh. It's like when I met Nikki. I don't know you, but you're familiar. Nice to meet you, Sora. I am Nomine. You may not know who it is I am, but I know things about you. Uh, so what exactly is going on here? Sora? Maybe I can explain. Yeah, Mickey should know who she is. There was a time when you lost every one of your memories. But everything turned out to be okay because Nomine helped you through it. Well, she took him wow. away in the first place. But... You really did that for me, Nomine? You deserve a big thanks. No, I don't. I put your memories back together. That part is true. But it was also me. I was the one who took them apart in the first place. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Not only that, the reason all of the bugs appeared in Jiminy's journal, that was me. What? Oh. Tell us what you mean. It all began with these memories that were sleeping way down deep, deep in Sora's heart. These are my memories? Actually, no, they're not yours. They're Ventuses. They belong to people who are connected to you. Huh? Maybe Ventuses. Isn't it weird for somebody else's memories to be inside me? Yes. Usually it's impossible. When I first found them while repairing your memory, I thought I had made some sort of mistake. But then, after searching for answers, all the evidence I found Proved they belong in your heart. Sora will have to awaken these memories. But this is where they will sleep until that time comes. They are important. And yet, dangerous too. Nomine, how are they dangerous? These memories, all of them are too painful. 
handled the wrong way, they could damage Sora's heart, even break it. That's why I needed for Sora to find a way to face that kind of hurt. Oh my God! So Nomine set so this I whole thing up. Message for all of you. Their hurting will be mended when you return to end it. That was you. You're the one who left us that message. When I unraveled Sora and the others' memories, it also erased the words in Jiminy's journal. That book was filled with pages and pages of memories from your first adventure. It shows how deeply the journal and Sora are connected. When I took Sora's memories apart, they stayed in his heart. It may have looked like they were gone, but they were there the whole time. Even after the text disappeared from the journal, the memories remained. That's why you were able to render them as data. Yeah, but the data we got was a mess. And then all those bugs appeared. Jiminy never wrote about any bugs. That was... Me too. When I added these memories to the journal, I also added all this hurt. I thought that maybe if you fought the bugs that sprang from these memories, you might learn to face the hurt in the memories themselves. So that's what it was. I didn't realize you had to go through so much trouble to get us to investigate this hurt, Nomine. I'm sorry. I wish I could have told you this in person. But the real me is gone. She doesn't exist now. Uh, guys? Yeah, what the hell? I like that I have a conversation. You kinda lost me a few minutes ago. <laughs> you don't have to understand it. You have already learned how to face the hurt, Sora. I did? You most certainly did. At times, the pain can be wiped away. But there's also a pain that always stays with you. There's only one way to deal with that. You face it head on, and then you accept it. Mm -hmm. And if it happens that the hurt is too great for you to bear it alone, well then you turn to a friend close to your heart. It'll bring us closer together. The hurt will only make us stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. <laughs> I'm willing to try. I'm ready to face all those memories that you found. It might have to be painful, but I can take it. Sora. Wait. You're not in this alone. Always remember, I'm here too. That's yep. right, Mickey. <laughs> Thank you. Just touch this. Don't be afraid. So we're You'll feel all of the memories that are locked inside flow right into your hearts. So we're gonna learn about uh -huh. Ventus and Ventus being inside Sora's heart, right? I mean, like, that's what these memories have to be. Listen to the mouse, Sora. This game is freaking knackers, man. <laughs> Mickey looks high. What are they? Baseness. Who? Axel, Roxas. These are hidden truths. Sora has been keeping them locked away, deep inside of him. Remember, these memories you're feeling, they don't belong to him. Nomine, that's you. Who's the other girl? She feels so familiar. And something happened. Something terrible. Didn't it? Okay, so we're not learning about Ventus, we're learning the about Raiden Roxas. Is Sora. He's the only one.
one who can put an end to their hurt. Diz told me he hid something inside you during the year you were asleep. I asked him what, and all he would say was that he was clearing his conscience. Sora must be the key to saving the people you saw. But they're and all the dead. You're about to see. Okay. Yes. Ventus is finally being shown. They're all being shown to Sora. Know how much they're hurting. These three were keys too. They were connected to the Keyblade's truth. Oh, I got chills when they finally showed that. And they're still connected, Sora. Somewhere way down deep inside of you. Funny. I feel as though I've met them. Yes. Two of them, you have met. As for the third, I never realized it, but you and he share a very special connection. Yeah. Nomine, you said Sora has to call these memories to the surface. Is it time? I can't say for sure, but I do know. A day will come when they must rise from their sleep. And then, the only one who can save them will be Sora. The bond they all share? That's gonna be the key, right? Don't worry, Naminé. I'll make sure I pass this on to Sora. You know, the one in the outside world. Mm. Please do. Is that what the note is? Right. Oh, and maybe that's why Sora said he is the way he is because of them. I thought he was talking about... Mickey, well, Donald, and Goofy, but he might have been talking about just a second. Huh? everyone. Our promise. Your promise to the me I don't know. You kept it, right? I may be gone, but my promises to him are forever. And anyway, I owe this much. For all the... all those people that I hurt. So what happens to you? The one that's right here? I'm really just data made to pass along a message. I shouldn't exist right now in this journal at all. And now the record of me will disappear. But when you pass my message on to the other Sora, just remember to tell him the things that you've seen and that you felt. If you do that, then we'll be at rest, her and me too. Along with everybody connected to Sora. Oh my god, Sora Nomine, is the key! You got it. <laughs> Sora's just gonna turn into a Keyblade at the end of this series. Oh, yeah. I swear to god. I almost forgot. I have a message for you, too. <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> Kept his promise. <laughs> and it comes full circle. So he met Terra and Aqua, and he shares a hardcore connection to Ventus, because Ventus is actually inside of his heart. Is he actually still there? He and should so still be ended there. our journey to connect those memories with these. Sora, when Nominee's words are passed on to you, when the day comes that you learn of this great unknown and mysterious adventure, it's important that you understand Whatever you feel in your heart, that's what he felt in his. It's going to cut out to the real story of reading the note, right? Don't hear me say, please, oh baby, don't go simple and clean. It's the way that you feel tonight. I'm not a singer, damn it. I don't have the lung capacity for it. Oh my god. I really wanted it to zoom out and then like Sora reading the note and it would have ended. I mean, it could ha ha happen at the end of this. Uh. Um. Credit scene. But holy crap, holy man. That was. That was a trippy ass game. We kind of like went through Kingdom Hearts 1. Obviously, we have major plot things taken out. Then went pretty much through all of Rechain of Memories with obviously my major plot things taken out. 
but I was not expecting that at all. <laughs> and then, so that's what that note is. That's what that note has to be, right? Telling him everything that he just learned right here. You don't hear me say... God, I like this song a lot. Oh my god. It must suck for Kingdom Hearts fans. Like, I feel... I, I feel hurt. I'm thinking of you guys, and I hurt. Because I got into the series last November with Kingdom Hearts, like, 1.5 and then 2.5. I've been playing for a year. I think about that, though. It's actually taken me a year to get through all these these two games, which are actually, like, four games and two movies. <laughs> And now I just have to wait within two years, supposedly. You never know what, what might happen. But I'm going to get 2.8. We're all going to get 2.8, actually, because there's a new game in there that none of us have played, and the movie of X, and even though that new game, the Birth by Sleep Volume 2 thing might be really short, but it's still new. And then Dream Drop Distance. So, holy shit. Dream Drop Distance is going to be nuts. They really, this whole game was a build up for Kingdom Hearts 3. That's all I get out of it. It's just, that's literally all I get is just this whole game is a build up for Kingdom Hearts 3 and like how everyone's connected to Sora. Sora is the key of saving the galaxy. And I like the tie in between the secret episode of Birth by Sleep where Aqua's talking to Diz. If that is his name, I feel like it is. And he talks about how he left his research in Sora, and then they just said it right there and again. Oh my god. And I like how Maleficent and Pete were more like, even though they were complete enemies, they were still more like friends than enemies, surprisingly. But I guess that's how it goes in these kind of games. <laughs> so... Let's see if there's anything after the credits. Ah, uh, we do get a little scene at the end. It's Mickey writing the note. I like how th this... They just had... They just showed me they had the technology to I turn a book. I tell you right away. About memories from the past that sleep within you. And... <laughs> like they have the technology... The pieces that will tie you to your future. Turn a book into the Matrix, but yet have to send... Messages in bottles. Sora. Riku, Kairi, the truth behind the Keyblade has found its way through so many people, and now I know that it rests in your hearts. Sora, you are who you are because of those people, but they're hurting, and you're the only one who can end their sadness. They need you. It's possible that all your journey so far I've been preparing you for this great new task that's waiting for you. I should have known there were no coincidences. Only links in a much larger chain of events. And now the door to your next journey is ready to be opened. I like how he still hasn't told them about Aqua Sora. Aqu Aqua Sora? Aqua Kingdom Hearts recoded. Aqua, Ventus, and Terra. I wonder if that. I wonder if he actually learns their names at least in Dream Drop Distance. Oh wait, it's still going. Master Yen Sin, are you finally gonna talk about Aqua, Terra, and Ventus? Yen I think we're finally close to figuring out where Ven's heart is. Oh, yep. Is that so? Then that leaves only Terra. Right. And we've got to save all three of them. Hmm. The question is, what does Xehanort intend to do next? Xehanort? But his two halves are gone. There was Ansem, who commanded the Heartless, and Xemnas, who commanded the Nobodies. Didn't Sora defeat them both? Correct. Those two met their end. However, therein lies exactly our problem. Their destruction now guarantees the original Xehanort's reconstruction. What the fuck? Uh, 
Xehanort's heart, once seized by his heartless half, is now free. And his body, which had become his nobody, has been vanquished. Both halves will now be returned to the whole. In short, this means Master Xehanort will return. That's cheap! And you think? You think that maybe he's gonna try something? Oh, no shit. A man like Xehanort will have left many roads open. Well, it doesn't matter what he cooks up. Me and Sora, we'll be ready. And Riku, too. Yes, they are indeed strong, but not true Keyblade masters like you. Tell me, would a single one of you suffice if what you faced was not a single one of him? What? <laughs> what do what? you mean? What the fuck? Mickey, please summon Sora hither. Riku as well. Of course, but why? To show us the mark of mastery. Oh my god, so that's what Dream Drop Distance is about. Destiny has been added to the theater. So, Dream Drop Distance is about becoming masters of the Keyblade. But only, doesn't technically only... 40% debugged. I've earned a trophy. <laughs> doesn't, um, only... Riku was the only one that actually got past the Mark of Mastery thing, didn't he? I can't wait to get into Dream Drop Distance, even if it doesn't explain any of the story, just more character development is going to be great for me. And speaking of Dream Drop Distance, I am letting everybody know again, thanks for everyone for watching. I appreciate everyone who subscribes. Everyone who enjoys any of my other Let's Plays, even though they don't get many views. I expect Zelda to do well, though. Everyone loves Zelda. So, there is a donation button on my front page. I am. S we're all saving up. I say we're all because everyone who donates, and me, myself included, are all saving up so I can get a PlayStation 4 in readiness of Dream Drop Distance, or 2.8, and then in the future, 3. As I already have, I already bought a uh, HD uh, recording device. I needed to buy one of those, so that's a big chunk of change right there. So I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting ready. It should be here today, actually. <laughs> so this has been Gears of the End. Thanks for watching so much. If you think you want to donate any amount, no matter how small, I think a dollar's the minimum, though, so go with that in mind. I will thank you again. Make sure you leave a comment saying it so I can thank you, because I think the system's busted. But anyways, then gives the end. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to my channel for more Let's Plays and Kingdom Hearts in the future. I, maybe I can stream Kingdom Hearts. I might do a marathon where I just play the entire Kingdom Hearts series in one go one day when I get my new device and set everything up. <laughs> maybe. Just maybe. Who would be down for that? We got a giant playthrough going. So this has been Gizdian. Peace. Mother loving out. That was more difficult than I thought. But at least things are on track. It's still going, by the Lord way. Zemnis is nowhere to be seen, so that means the party's already begun, huh? Yes. Man, does that Xehanort scare me like nobody's business. The way he can see in the mines. And it doesn't help that no one knows what it is that the old man wants. I wonder if even you know what's going on inside your own head. I will be led wherever it is I am destined to go. Sounds to me like you don't have a clue of your own. Every Keyblade Master is bequeathed a Keyblade of his very own. With the passing of time, as you can imagine, more and more Keyblades were forged to be handed down. But of all the Keyblades in existence, Master Xehanort's is the most ancient. That is my destiny. But it has yet to become a reality. Hey, it's okay. This is all connected to the ancient Keyblade War, isn't that right? Whatever. I got my hands full with my own plans. So, 
Which poor soul will it be? <laughs> Reconnect Kingdom Hearts. Huh? Was that what happened right before Kingdom Hearts uh, 1 happened? 100% debugged. So now... Oh my god. Let me hit continue again to see if it actually starts another movie. Goodbye. No, not goodbye. I think it just restarted everything. Return to title screen. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> thanks for watching. Peace. Mother loving out.